Good morning and welcome to morning prayer this morning, Friday, the 29th of September. Today we celebrate St Michael and all angels. I'll be using the words from the Book of Common Prayer this morning. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The psalm that is set for this morning is Psalm 139. O Lord, thou hast searched me out and known me. Thou knowest my down-sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts long before. Thou art about my path and about my bed, and spiest out all my ways. For lo, there is not a word in my tongue, but thou, O Lord, knowest it altogether. Thou hast fashioned me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful and excellent for me, I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go then from thy spirit, or whither shall I go then from thy presence? If I climb up into heaven, thou art there. If I go down to hell, thou art there also. If I take the wings of the morning and remain in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there also shall the, thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, peradventure, the darkness shall cover me, then shall my night be turned to day. Yea, the darkness is no darkness with thee, but the night is clear as the day. The darkness and the light to thee are both alike. For my reins are thine. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks unto thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My bones are not hid from thee, though I be made secretly and fashioned beneath the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being imperfect, and in thy book were all members written, which day by day were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How dear are thy counsels unto me, O God! Oh, how great is the sum of them! If I tell them they are more in number than the sand, when I wake up I am present with thee. Wilt thou not slay the wicked, O God? Depart from me, ye bloodthirsty men, for they speak unrighteously against thee, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? Yea, I hate them right sore, even as though they were mine enemies. 
Try me, O God, and seek the ground of my heart. Prove me and examine my thoughts. Look well if there be any way of wickedness in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of Tobit, chapter 12, verses 6 to 22. Then Raphael took Tobit and Tobias apart and said unto them, Bless God, praise him and magnify him, and praise him for the things which he hath done unto you in the sight of all that live. It is good to praise God and exalt his name, and honourably to show forth the works of God. Therefore be not slack to praise him. It is good to keep close the secret of a king, but it is honourable to reveal the works of God. Do that which is good, and no evil shall touch you. Prayer is good with fasting and alms and righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. It is better to give alms than to lay up gold. For alms doth deliver from death and shall purge away all sin. Those that exercise alms and righteousness shall be filled with life. But they that sin are enemies to their own life. Surely I will keep close nothing from you. For as I said, it was good to keep close the secret of a king, but that it was honourable to reveal the works of God. Now, therefore, when thou dost pray, and Sarah, thy daughter-in-law, I did bring the remembrance of your prayers before the Holy One, and when thou didst bury the dead, I was with thee likewise. And when thou didst not delay to rise up and leave thy dinner, to go and cover the dead, thy good deed was not hid from me, but I was with thee. And now God hath sent me to heal thee, and Sarah thy daughter-in-law. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints, and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. Then they were both troubled and fell upon their faces, for they feared. But he said unto them, Fear not, for it shall go well with you. Praise God, therefore. For not of any favour of mine, but by the will of our God I came. Wherefore, praise him for ever. All these days I did appear unto you, but I did neither eat nor drink. But he did see a vision. Now, therefore, give God thanks, for I go up to him that sent me. But write all these things which are done in a book. And when they arose, they saw him no more. Then they confessed the great and wonderful works of God, and how the angel of the Lord had appeared unto them. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, 
Thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name, ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. Our New Testament reading comes from Acts chapter 12, verses 1 to 11. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternarians, of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly, and his chains fell off from in his hands. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals, and so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and the second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from them. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, now I know of a surety that the Lord hath sent his angel and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the King and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O everlasting God, who hast ordained and constituted the services of angels and men in a wonderful order, Mercifully grant that as thy holy angels always do thee service in heaven, so by thy appointment they may succour and defend us on earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, Defend us in the same with thy mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, as we come to you this morning, we bring all of those things that are on our hearts, those things that weigh us down today. We pray for all of those people who deal with the aftermath of the Moroccan earthquake. We ask that the supplies and everything they need will be delivered to where it is needed.
We continue to think of those who have lost loved ones after the floods in Derna, in Libya. We pray for over 43,000 people who've been forced from their homes after these floods. And we pray that their urgent need of food and drinking water will be supplied to them. We ask that you would comfort all of those who've lost loved ones in both of these disasters, that you would strengthen them, enable them to cope with living in the coming days and months. Father, we continue to pray for the countries of Ukraine and Russia and we ask that the fighting between these two countries would cease and that the governments and leaders would come to a true and lasting and righteous peace between them. We pray against the violence that is flaring once again in Kosovo. We pray that this would cease. And also the heavy fighting in Ethiopia. Father, we pray for this too to stop. In all of the places around the world where there is unrest, where people rise up against other people, we ask that you would bring your peace to these places. Although we continue to pray for our town of Rayleigh, we pray for all those who live and work in this town. We pray for those who work in the high street, both in shops in hospitality venues, in places that offer services like the hairdressers and barbers. We pray for those who work in the library. We pray for all of those at the funeral directors. We pray for our local police for those who work in the fire station. And we pray for all of the paramedics and the ambulance drivers who work in our town and locally. We pray for our hospitals. We pray for the doctors Consultants, surgeons, nurses, all of those who work there. Treating those who are sick and injured. We pray for all of those in hospital at the moment being treated. We pray for those who are waiting to go in for operations or treatment. We pray for outpatients who continue to be treated though living at home. We pray for our GP surgeries. For all of those who work there. And we think too of those who who serve us in the town, our, our postmen, and those who keep the streets clean and tidy, the street cleaners, and those who collect our rubbish.
We pray for those who work in our churches, the clergy and the congregations. who together pray for your kingdom to come to our town. We pray for our schools. For the head teachers and teachers and for the young people. Father, we ask that you would inspire in each of them a desire to learn. Father, we think of all of those who we know at the moment who are unwell. We pray especially for Wendy and her ongoing treatment. And we ask that you would bring her healing. And we pray too for Stephen. We pray that you would slow down the marching forward of his disease. We pray that he would be comfortable and be able to continue to communicate with his family. We pray for his family. Ask that you would strengthen them in the days ahead. And Father, we continue to pray for all of those who've recently been bereaved. Those who miss their loved ones and those who have to deal with the after effects of their passing. Especially thinking this morning of Gwen and David and pray for both of them, asking that you would strengthen them in the coming days. And Father, finally this morning, we would pray for ourselves. We would ask you to strengthen us and guide each of us as we set out at the beginning of this day with a desire to follow you in all that we do, in all that we say. Help us, we pray this morning. Father, we thank you for listening to our prayers today. As we pray in the name of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. It's been lovely having your company. I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Have a lovely day. God bless. Goodbye.